So this is our little yam patch. We've been working on growing yams for a number of years. Um, we grow them really well in the nursery. We've grown them in seed production where we've been able to harvest the seed. Um, but we have been, up until now, largely unsuccessful getting them established in the grounds. So this little patch we planted three years ago. I planted 300 plants in this little um, square. And last year I had 40 survivors. Now 300 to 40, um, I would have said, was pretty much a failure. Um, however, however, this year, those 40 survivors have reproduced. They are really strong. They are really healthy. And we have got babies galore. So these are our little babies coming on. Um, I think this will be actually quite a thriving yam patch. And the yams, as a distinction, they can look quite like dandelions in the wild, but they always have this very curved head. Um, the leaves are a bit variable, but they're long and generally can be a bit toothed. They've got quite a toothed sort of edge, like that. Um, but it's that little curve that's quite distinctive. And they were a significant bush food, so they would have been very widespread. And we've actually had a little experiment in here as well with doing some burning. This section, um, Shane Monk and I, Uncle Shane Monk and I burnt uh, two years ago. This section we left. Hasn't really made a big difference on the yams, but we have had a lot more of those peas germinate in this section just from the heat. And this is what we're looking at with the roots, the one I just dug up. So these are the tubers. As you can see, they're not particularly big, but they are loaded. So we've got three different stages of life with this yam. We've got grandma, we've got mama, and right tucked in there we've got baby. And it's the mamas that you're going to eat. And you can tell that even just from looking at them, they just look a whole lot more edible than grandma. And the babies don't look much like they're worthwhile. So you might harvest a few of those and then replant them at the end. Ready for next year.